Yeah. So I want to talk about the bioenergetic model of health first, and then we could talk about hero in a little bit. The bioenergetic model of health, which is what Thrive State is all about, empowers every person to, to know that their longevity, their performance, mental, physical, emotional, sexual performance, all actually is within their hands. And why is that? That is a concept called epigenetics. And epigenetics actually um, is great science that tells people that it is the choices or the energetic environment around the cell that actually dictates how a cell behaves. So when we think about everything that we want physically or asking of our body, well, what are we asking? We're asking for basically every single cell to, to, to live optimally. So if that cell is optimal, then our function, mental, physical, emotional, uh, sexual, our immune system, our ability to live a long time with extended health span as well, all those things rely on basically how our cells behave and the state of our cells. And the cool thing is epigenetics tells us that it is not the genes that you got from mom or dad that eventually dictates um, how that cell behaves. Those genes are actually a blueprint, but what turns on certain genes and what turns off certain genes are actually our choices. And our choices create the energetic environment of our cells. That's what I call the bioenergetic state. And there's basically two pathways our cells could take. Our cells could either be in the thrive state, yeah. and that gives us, you know, that gives cellular longevity, cellular performance, and then we reap those benefits as well. Or the cell thinks that it's in danger or the stress or survive state. And in those states, there's increased inflammation, there's decreased immunity, and there's also um, a proclivity to get chronic disease. And, you know, God forbid, those are the people that actually are, are being most affected by COVID-19 yeah. are people who are chronically in that stress state. Yeah. So what's free? The cool thing is this, I work with an epigeneticist, Stephen Cole from UCLA. So one of my colleagues, and we boil down the seven key things that actually the seven key free lifestyle things in your life <laughs> come on that will that, that will drive your bioenergetic state and what is that that sleep nutrition movement stress and emotional mastery our thoughts and mindset relationships and purpose if we can look at each one of those factors and optimize that i would probably say anywhere from 80 to 85 to 95% of your bioenergetic state is based on those things. And you could actually reach that thrive state without the help of a doctor. Brilliant. Brilliant. And I think what you're saying is education inspires, it empowers people if they take it on and they action it. I've also got a little miracle child, a little four-year-old little daughter called Zoe. And uh, looking at those seven bioenergetic states now, I've got an idea which is the most, most important to start someone. Someone's listening to this. They can't get a hold of you. They can't get a hold of me. They can't afford it. Which is the most important one to start off with? Because I've got a good idea and I want to sort of unpack this and go into the weeds and dig a little bit deeper because I think it's probably the most missing element in today's humanity. Yeah, I would say for me, it was sleep. Okay. Uh, people right now, we, we are so exposed to junk light throughout the day. You know, you've, you've got your glasses on, you know what that's all about. But because of that, that actually wreaks havoc on, on our circadian. People, because they're, they're hustling out in the world, they're thinking, hey, you know what, I, I, I need to hustle into the night and they give up sleep. And that's one of those things is when your sleep pattern becomes abnormal and you're not sleeping very well, you're pretty much just telling your body everything else comes before me. So this is really a treat to yourself. This is really a commitment to yourself to get good sleep. And for me, when I was able to do that first, you know, when I was overweight, that really was able to kickstart a lot of my weight loss and a lot of uh, changes. The other thing is all the physical changes. Then after you got sleep down and, and I, I, I just took out the sugar next, those two are wonders. So if you're eating a lot of sugar and processed foods and you're not sleeping very well, if you could optimize those two things, man, you're going to notice a big change mm. in your life. 
No, I think you're right. You know, there's so much work now on the glymphatic system and all the yeah. actual detox that happens when you're at night and the washing out of cells and how important the REM sleep is and the deep sleep and the self-quantification of sleep.